Welcome back, my fellow duplicants, to Oxygen Not Included. This is the Triple Printer Challenge. And in today's episode here, I'm going to be trying to survive another five cycles here. It's actually been a couple of weeks since my last video, at least of this challenge. We did the other challenge, which was kind of the one that was put on by Clay Entertainment. That one was pretty fun, where he had a really confined space and he had to do the tube thing. That was pretty awesome. Not to mention, I've been playing a lot of other games, such as Factorio and RimWorld, and getting into those, and also working on my 3D printer project, which I have yet to show you, even though I said I was going to show you it. I'm just a couple of weeks behind. I got a lot going on. So, one of the things that we have going on here in this base today is we need to survive. So we've got to in we've got to get these mechanized airlock thingamabobbers up and running so that I can produce a lot more oxygen out into the base and also get some of that power back as far as the hydrogen is concerned. The other thing that we talked about in a previous experiment was whether or not the germs over here, all of this food poisoning, was going to negatively impact my duplicants if it got out into the air. Because when you take this clean water and you pipe it back into the electrolyzers in the current build of the game, it does kind of let it out into the air. However, from my experimenting and my testing, that doesn't have any negative effect on your duplicants because it doesn't seem to transfer from the air to them because it's food poisoning. And it gets killed off pretty quickly um, just from, from pumping through and everything like that. So... I don't think I need to go ahead and purify this, however this is a decent thing to have on hand in the case that I do need to purify the water for, you know, food. But for right now I'm going to go ahead and use that to offset some of the water I need to produce enough oxygen. So that's what I'm going to continue with. However that just really kind of delays the inevitable. If I run out of water then I die. So I need more water. I either need to locate a steam geyser somewhere or I just need to find better and more sources of water that I can at least purify and work with that. And right now, I don't see a steam geyser anywhere. I do see some cold biomes, but no no steam geysers. One thing I might simply have to do is, is start to dig out over here and see if I can find anything. I mean, clay and a little bit of algae, all of that stuff is going to be useful, not to mention the polluted water, which I can... I can then process over here. That'll all be very, very useful. The thing is, I need like a consistent source of water, not not all these temporary things. Slime processing is one way to do that, but then I also need to build a lot of equipment in, or, in order to offset all of the uh, all of the machines and everything that's required for it to get power out of it to power the steam blah, 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 the slime processing units. So I don't know if that's really the best idea. Let's hop to it, make it through another cycle here, and then I'll analyze where I'm at a little bit, you know, once I'm once I'm through all of that. Let's go ahead and just reconnect this water over here into that source. I am going to put a liquid valve right here. That way, if I, I don't really want this water over here, which has germs inside of it, to go back, you know, in, into any of the stuff that I might plug into this guy over here. So I really want to keep it separate. That's why I'm going to go through a valve. I'll also deconstruct the buildings here so I can have another valve right next to this. And that means I can turn this down to zero. Ooh, I gotta mop all of this stuff. Mop it up. All right, let's see here. So now, do I have enough for my automation and all of the gates? Or am I still researching that? I am still researching that. So I can't build that just yet. So that's what's holding up this area. So I'll just have two valves and I'll use whatever one I want. Hey, it looks like I did get some research. Weight plates, clock sensor, nothing nothing too special right there. Take a look at the overlay of oxygen right now. Uh, we're a little sparse over here, but for the most part, I think we're okay. Let's see here, where can I keep digging? What can I keep doing in order to keep exploring? Hey, look at this, a natural gas geyser. Yes! All right, so that will solve my power problems. I think I want to tap into that as fast as possible. Not only that, I'll get polluted water out of that, which I can then purify, giving me a small but still consistent source of polluted water, which, you know, uh, basically a consistent source of water. Yes. Okay, awesome. 
So I'm going to go ahead and prioritize the digging and construction of this area. Just so I can get over there and do exactly what I need. And I can also grow uh, bomb lilies here inside of this chlorine. And that'll be nice and useful. What are bomb lilies for? Sickness and stuff like that. So I can actually expose my duplicates to a little bit of germs. Because I can make, make some medicine at some point. Once I actually have it researched. Which I do not have researched at the moment. So then I'll put the mechanized airlock right there. We're gonna make sure that this stuff is prioritized nice and high. So it's always taken care of as fast as possible. I guess one thing I can do right now is I could just build some automation wires just to get ready for it. All right, so I know I can run two natural gas generators off of this guy continuously. So that is 1600 watts that I can just pump through my base, which right now is actually running off of, I think, Potentially, it might be running off less than that. So that is going to be massive. Now, in case things get hot in here, I want to make sure I'm building things out of gold amalgam. Luckily, I have a decent amount. Matter of fact, I want to make these out of gold amalgam. Because it would be terrible if they get destroyed and that kills off my colony. Colony. What game am I in? Uh -huh. So I've been playing RimWorld, and I'm calling all of my colonists duplicates and everything like that. I... At some point, I'm just going to do a mashup and just combine all the games. I think that would be a good, fun episode. Especially if I could figure out how to mod. That would be awesome. But run around in Factorio with his meep, you know. And maybe he has this little uh, laser gun that he uses to kill, kill off little hatches or something. Of all the art styles, I'm going to say this. Oxygen not included is the best. Although the Hover Muffalo, I mean, those are my personal favorites at the moment. What am I doing? Snazzy suit? I need reed fibers? Brah. I don't have reed fibers. I only got four of six. Well, we gotta turn this stuff on to enable harvest. What am I doing? I can't believe I didn't do this. And Travalda, bruh, what are you even doing? Your job is to dig, and apparently you have nothing to d What about all this? There you go. Get to work, Travaldo. Gosh, quit slacking. And don't dig that spot. <laughs> I kind of want to close that spot off. Somebody build a door. There you go, Travaldo. Just just dig there. All right, so we're a little further into the cycle. Let's see how this oxygen is doing. It's, it's not great. What about my algae consumption? Oh, that's getting pretty rough, too. Uh, let's go ahead and dig some of this up since it's available. I almost kind of forgot that I have to keep looking around for more and more algae here. Or I'm going to suffocate to death. So... That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find more of it. Polluted oxygen. Oxygen. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So here's a different idea. We've got chlorine right here. No, but it's being used for bomb lily, so that's fine. Don't, don't mess with that one. Part of my thought is if I have my duplicates run through this chlorine environment before going down here, then at least I can gain access to all of this algae inside of here without becoming sick. Definitely now is probably a good idea, a time to set up the the exosuit forge here. So I'm going to set that up right here. There we go. And I'll just run wires to all of that. All right, so I'm also going to need to dig up some more gold amalgam here. So slime lung, where can I get to some gold amalgam? Right there. Aha, and it's not germy. Perfect. Here's also some more gold amalgam that is not germy. So I can go ahead and dig this up as well. You really need to plan this stuff out. But there we go. No problem at all. All right. So for what am I going to do here? I think I want to go ahead and do that number. And then I'll use a mesh tile right there. So the, the water is going to come out over on this side. Puddle up and then run over here to the left. So I'm going to do the exact same thing right here. I'm going to go ahead and just build this into its own little room. So I'll, I'll surround this with abyssalite for most of it. I think I might leave this area here untouched. Which means I'll dig all of this out. Oh, and that's some algae as well. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and put the gas pump right up here. Nope. Don't make it out of that. Make the gas pump out of... Gold amalgam. You want to make sure you do that, or otherwise it'll just melt on you. There we go. I already I made these uh, airflow tiles out of iron. 
I'm not worried about them. It's just the equipment I'm worried about. So that'll be the gas filter as well, which would be located right down here. I'm going to go ahead and manipulate the corners just a tad so that the liquid will actually flow down more towards the bottom here so that the pump should be able to pick up more liquid when it goes to run. So that means I'll need a hydro sensor down here just to wait until I have a decent amount of liquid so I don't waste power. Even though, you know, I've got like a continuous source of power, which is really good. This here can be made of iron or it should be okay because it's going to be, well, it's, there's going to be liquid that drips on top of it. So I'll put a hydro sensor I've, I've, and then plug it in just like so. That'll take care of that. Hmm, overheat temperature of 75 degrees. Well, if it's in liquid, the batteries should be okay. As long as I keep the levels down low enough that they don't overheat. So I should be able to have at least a couple of batteries in here. As, again, as long as there's, there's liquid pooling around them. Otherwise, those will melt. But for now, I'm going to risk it and see what happens. Now for the water sieve. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go ahead and build another one right here. So separate from this guy. So there we go. Pipe running out. Perfect. That'll give me 120 grams a second of polluted water, which is not a lot when you compare it to the electrolyte. However, if I set this up in, in a way that I run a bunch of fertilizer synthesizers off of it, well, I can also generate a lot more power and liquid essentially because I'm going to have, well, maybe not a lot of liquid, but I can get more power out of it if I wanted to. Liquid's the real key component, so that's what I'm going to be looking for. Speaking of which, how are we doing oxygen-wise? Uh, we're doing okay. Not great. I'm going to enable this building for just a tad. You can see here people are starting to hold their breath, so... The Mealwood Farm seems to be in good condition. I mean, I'm right there in the sweet spot as far as temperature is concerned. 26 degrees down at the bottom, 23 up near the top. So I think I'm doing okay. Wait a minute. No, oh, no, 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 no. Duplicants. No, don't kill yourself. Dig. Dig for your life. There you go. To freedom. <laughs> so now what to do with all of the carbon dioxide? Hmm. <laughs> Or can I use it somewhere and potentially grow a farm or something with all of that carbon dioxide? I think I'm just going to have to set up a carbon skimmer, kind of recirculate things around, and I just end up using up sand just to eliminate it. I don't yet have a slickster or something like that to make better use of it. That's still a ways down there, and I just have not gotten that far. Oh no, we got more duplicates. All right, is this gonna be the one where Meep shows up? What is it gonna be, one, two, or three? How about, I'm gonna go with the right. Nope, no Meep. Loud sleeper, no. Cannot perform the job build. Is anybody really good at cooking or something like that? I'm gonna go with Bonnie here because of the really high medicine and immunity. She's somebody that might be able to stick around and keep a lot of my duplicates healthy. All right, we have an Ellie and a Turner. Seriously, this this is a conspiracy confirmed. Nope, we got no meeps. What in the world is that? Tripe? Typophobia? Cannot perform the job. Dig. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Turner. Now, uh, and you're a binge eater. That's terrible. And you cannot. You can't even combat. This is ridiculous. Oh, well, high level and tinkering. We also got Ellie here. What is Ellie all about? A technician. All right, so I've got two duplicates that are, are very fast at tinkering. All right, so I have a repeat on Turner here. So let's go ahead and pull in another name here. All right, Turner here is going to be renamed Jason. And let's see here, who else do we have? Ellie? Yep, another duplicate, duplicate. Ellie, your name is Flash. Please don't light my base on fire. And that should do it for all of the duplicate duplicates. Thank you guys for supporting over there on Patreon. Absolutely awesome. Uh, thank you guys so much. 
Okie dokie, so everything here looks like it's working pretty good. I'm not going to really worry about what the new, new duplicates are going to be doing inside my base. I figure they'll, they'll figure out something to do and just go ahead and do it. And hopefully, I have enough cots for everybody. And that would be a no. <laughs> Crap! Okie dokie, so I gotta make some more. Uh, I gotta make another room. All right, so hopefully today we'll finish off the research needed so that I can go ahead and and get this set up so that I can get these doors running and these electrolyzers can start to run more and that'll alleviate the issue I have currently with that. Do I want to dig that? No, I don't think I want to dig that piece out. I think I'll leave that. That should all be good. Just got to be careful that I don't run out of oxygen here, so... I have to re-enable some of these deoxidizers. Um, buddy. I still do have some algae right here, which I can, I can dig into. So I'm going to dig up as much as I can. The pipe is blocked. Why is that pipe blocked? Because I can't consume enough of that water. Okay. Which means this needs to be turned back off. There we go. And that restroom really needs to be finished. So I can go ahead and take care of that. Disable these outhouses. Okay, all good. Looks like I've caught up with food thus far. So, I don't have to worry about that, at least immediately. And let's go ahead and dig that up. Boom, there we go. I should have a lot more reed fiber available. Why? What? Alright, so where do I want to dig? Do I want to dig over here to the right where I have all... I know I have all of this algae. But I don't really have any chlorine, so I can't scrub any of that algae means if I bring it back and shove it inside of this thing, I'm like gonna make everybody sick. Ooh, awesome. All right, so I got the automation done. Let's see if I can remember how to make this gate thingy again. We're gonna work on medical next as far as the research is concerned. So let's go ahead and do this number. So every time I go to make this circuit, I kind of forget exactly how it's all connected. Luckily, MR Flow Cricket here went ahead and made this image for me, so Bam, I'm all set. Switch, and two doors, two door, two door. It's just buffer, filter, buffer, not. All you gotta remember is that, buffer, filter, buffer, not. Oh, that's, that's easy, it kinda rhymes. So, just like that. Boom. And we'll make sure to get that built. And built quick. The nice thing is, once I have that circuit set up, then I don't need to make it again. So I could just kind of string those commands to everything else inside the base and, and take care of it that way. Man, look at that get built. Whew, that was fast. All right, just need a couple more wires to be built and that will all be taken care of. We'll enable that pump. Okay, how are we, how are we doing over here? Uh, we're not quite there yet. Hey, there we go. So now this is up and running. So what I should be seeing now it's a good amount of oxygen right down here. And that's what I'm seeing. Okay, so if this is above... Actually, you know what? If it's below, let's go ahead and pump that. Except for I'm going to disconnect that chunk. I'm going to put a gas filter in right here. So there's already power right there. So that will... I'll be able to get that oxygen out of there so I can start making use of that hydrogen. You know, and all of the power that it has inside of it. So now that I have that up and running, I'm going to go ahead and disable these air, uh, algae deoxidizers so I'm not using up all of that precious algae. So, should be going on pretty good here. Last step is to deconstruct that and then cap it off. So now hydrogen will find its way out over here and then oxygen will just keep on moving. So what I'm looking for here is just oxygen, and then that will be pumped out. Go figure, I set that up in such a way that it is unreachable. So let's bring that gas pipe down. There we go. So let's see here, what can I do for power? I don't really want to run refined wires everywhere. Also because I just don't have the equipment in order to do all of that. Well, I guess I can. Mm -hmm. There's no real point that I can't, at some point, refine metal 
on something better than the rock granulator. Since that water is finding its way to the electrolyzer anyhow, so therefore it will kind of produce oxygen at higher temperatures. Okay, so another thing I'm going to build is I'm going to build this gas pump, and that'll be right here. Reason I'm building that is because I'll need to fill up an exosuit, which will probably end up somewhere over in this area in order to get down here and start digging around. Hopefully I can, you know, make a couple of these and also have the power needed to to operate them. Gosh, look at all the oxygen, how, it, how much it gets sucked down when all of these duplicates go to sleep in this area. I think it might be a good idea for me to take a liquid pipe and allow it to run over here so that I can operate those electrolyzers off of this water source over here as well before it kind of overflows because it looks like I have a lot of extra water. So what I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up doing for power is I'm just going to have a couple of transformers here and then I'm going to run sub 1000 watt wires to everything inside the base. If I need a high current, I'll have to run that somewhere else and or maybe just bypass that and then run that specific piece of equipment off of like a battery that gets charged up. First I gotta build it though, so it's not like... <laughs> I'm a little ways away yet. Alright, so let's see if this is working. Hydrogen, nothing but hydrogen. So I can actually deconstruct the gas filter now, just completely bypass it. What this also means is I should be able to put a power transformer right here and then off the small size, I can run power down to this stuff down here, which I currently pretty much always have two duplicates running on top of those uh, hamster wheels down here. So I can go ahead and kind of snake this in just like so and put a wire bridge right here. Whoopsie. Can't remember what game I'm playing. There we go. There's the flip. And bring that in like that and that like that. So that should work. Hopefully, I don't end up with ear popping over here. You can see the amount of oxygen in this area is up near two kilograms now. I might want to start converting some of these tiles to airflow tiles. Just to kind of let that, well, let it breathe, really. Okay, so a couple of these new people I brought in, I'm, I've changed my mind. I've got so many things I need to build that they are just simply going to become builder. I'm not so sure this power thingy worked. Up here, it looks like it's pulling 1,200 watts. I'm not seeing things get damaged, but it's kind of surprising. I guess it makes sense. I don't know. I'll keep an eye out for damaged buildings, but for right now, eh, it doesn't look like it's too bad. I guess I have all of the medical stuff taken care of, so I'm going to go ahead and refine, go down the refinement line here. Try to get towards the metal refinery, because that will... It's kind of like the last missing piece of the puzzle. However... Some of these are good once I get to animals and whatnot, but for today, things that I I might potentially see in, in the next, I don't know, whenever, but hey, awesome. Okay, so I was able to make an Atmo suit. So if I go ahead and make a dock right down here, maybe even a couple, boom, just like so, and then a checkpoint, no, 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 then the duplicate should be able to come in over here or something like that and then move out over there. I don't, I'm not going to need that coal generator down there anymore because it's not going to be needed. And I really don't need that ladder. The ladder is much better placed over here. All right, so things are starting to look a little bit more positive over here. Yeah, I like this. And now I'm going to run just this air right over here. Boom, just like so. So that will give me access to this area down here inside of exosuits, really important. And then I have a source of chlorine up here, at least with bleach stone. So I can use that to my advantage in order to clean the ore that comes out of here. So this slime and all of that, well, the slime will stay down here, but anything else that comes out of there that has germs on it, that'll be processed in this area. So I'll put an ore scrubber right there. Boom. Travaldo? Man, why'd you make a mess right now? Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, jeez, everywhere. Oh, I've got water down here, and now you're making a mess on it. Oh, okay. Jeez, why is everybody making a mess? Uh-oh. 
Oh, because none of these are operating? Is that why? All right, we gotta unleash this thing. Let it go. All right, we've got a slight plumbing emergency. The pipes are backed up. And, and extra mint is going everywhere. So let's go ahead and fix this. Priority level eight. Mm. Quickly. Eight, not five. Eight. Bingo. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I didn't do. Okay. That is just going to connect to there, which means I'm going to deconstruct that piece. Which means I need to re-enable that. We can get rid of that. Turn back to zero. Uh, except for all sorts of madness has happened here. Oh, gosh. What's going on? Ah! There's just water everywhere all of a sudden. Look, I'm, cl I'm glad I ca capped that offer. Oh my gosh, I'd be in, in real trouble all of a sudden. All right, so we survived the flood of cycle 33. And I mean, I know I broke that pipe right there, but then there was polluted water down there too. So that was a little concerning. I'm not seeing any airborne germs. I mean, there are, there is like just a little bit, but man, it's getting nuked quickly. All right, I gotta get this power up and running. Let's see if I can get my people over here to do some work. So far, they've been focusing on everything else. So we'll just crank up the priority in there. I can never produce enough oxygen. Look at that, 990 kilograms of oxygen. Your duplicates require 1,174. Oh, it's never ending. More duplicates. <laughs> mm, this one. All right, who do we have? Catalina, welcome to the base. And we have another Ari and another Catalina. All right, so we got the Catalina twins. This one is uh, only negative three to learning. You're not good. Well, slow learner. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> about Catalina. Let's read a little bit about Catalina here. She is admired by all for her seemingly tireless work ethic. Little do people know she's dying on the inside. Well, that is some dark... Terrible madness. You should really take a break, Catalina. Enjoy life. You have a twin, too. I mean, just think how cool that is. However, there's far too many of you, so we gotta, gotta find another name for you. Catalina the artist is going to be renamed Night Huntress. There we go. And I think I have another Ari. We have Ari the Entombed, and then just Ari. Okay, so never mind. That works. Okay, Ari's going to do nothing but build. Well, at least I have another artist that's actually capable of doing some nice masterpiece work. Oh, gosh. We got more. That's where it came from. So that that was where that was. Okay, good. Well, as it turns out, I need more electrolyzers. So I'll try to set up yet another system right here to do exactly that. Uh-oh. Who's suffocating? Frankie! How did you get all the way over there? Uh, Frankie. Frankie, move! Uh-oh. This is going to cause a lot of stress if I have to toggle red. Otherwise, Frankie's gonna die, though. Oh, well. Get out of here, Frankie. Come on! Why can you not move? What is wrong with you? Why? Really? You can't move out of here. Oh, crap. Because that's needs to be set to auto. That's what happened there. Is there a power wire or something? No. That shouldn't be stopping you, Frankie. Why can't you get out? No. Oh, see, you can't. You just got confused. That's all. All right. Red alert over. Frankie survived. Whew, that was pretty close. Almost at our first death. Not sure why, though. That was weird. Just realized I didn't... I don't have any massage tables around. Although I do have a couple of duplicates that are a little bit higher there. Such as Flash and Jason. Trivaldo's also a little bit higher. So I think a good place for the massage table is right next to these printing pods. Not only are they the source of my stress, they are also in an area with very high decor. Look at that. Boom. So it seems like a great place to go ahead and put that there. Uh, who is suffocating? Frankie! What? How? <sighs> Boom. And that thing's built. Okay, so I don't think I have quite enough time to make this arrangement here without suffocating to death. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a, a much simpler system, which is just a, a couple of electrolyzers 
for right now. And then it'll be underneath a, a hydro hood. So that's just gonna be a hood that collects it. And then it has a pump up there, which will then just kind of feed it out. It's slightly less efficient, but it still works. Key thing being that it's a much faster unit to make. I see some algae way over here. It's a long ways off, but I want to adventure. So I'm just going to go right up and through there, just like so. Or maybe I'll just go over. Yeah, yeah, that's a better plan. I'll just go over at some point. All right, well, I've made it to the end here of cycle 34. And so far, I'm still alive. And I have a lot of food now, so that's good. That's been working out real good down there, turning all of that into lice loaf. I was also able to get the self-powering electrolyzer system up and running over here and also over there. And uh, make some progress into uh, some more a more uh, permanent power source over here with the natural gas geyser. I could build onto this more at some point, hopefully, if I have enough time to do all of that. But I think the next thing here is get those exosuits up and running, get that built, you know, and, and then start to harvest more of this algae and clean it up before I, I bring it out. That will give me enough oxygen to, uh, to buy me enough time to really build some other stuff that's going to be more permanent which is going to be much larger electrolyzer systems, hopefully. <laughs> I still gotta find the places to put all my dupes though. I don't know. It's pretty crazy. I think there's plenty of room over here though. I mean, that's that's a little bit of slime lung, but I think I can deal with that. So I think this base is, definitely has some life left in it. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Oxygen Not Included. And if I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Stay awesome guys, peace. Brothgar, out.